Hello, everybody. This is Gina Ifoe, the one and only African superstar. I'm here in uh, Osun State with Dynasty Mir Search for Huru Tour. And I wanted to deliver a changing the narrative. I actually received a, a comment on a, vid a, a video that I did last week, which is Pan Africans Must Lead the Way. Um, there was a comment that has now been deleted that was kind of condemning those of us that are traveling, those of us that are kind of taking initiative and trying to take control over the direction of our futures and exploring Africa. And basically the subject matter of this changing the narrative is waiting has not served us well. In this particular comment, the person went on to talk about Jesus Christ and talked about how um, you know, we need to just be patient and prayerful and wait for things to kind of fall into place. And what I can advise you guys is, is, is that waiting has not served us well. Waiting has not served us well as a people. Uh, waiting has not even served us well in our own individual lives as far as pursuing the goals that we have set. I have to promote you guys to become front and center in your destiny, okay? Okay. In regards to religion, wherever your religious beliefs fall, when we talk about Jesus Christ or we talk about Christianity specifically, think about how many generations have been waiting to be saved. People have been waiting to see the rapture. People have been waiting to kind of be, um, you know, have the savior figure come in and alleviate the pressures and the stresses that they are going through. The generations that have come prior to us have been waiting and the current generation that we're in is still waiting. I encourage you guys to take initiative in your life. I can't wait, okay? Um, as I sit around and I observe certain people enjoying their lives, enjoying the fruit of their labor, escalating, you know, being able to build something, being able to create a legacy, I refuse to stay stagnant and, can, and wait. Wait for life to happen. Wait for the opportunities to present itself. Wait for, you know, prosperity. Wait for happiness. Wait for safety. Wait for peace of mind. I'm not going to wait, okay? The few decades I've spent currently waiting, hoping that the playing field was going to be even and that I was going to actually be compensated for my maturity, for my talent, for my skill, for my contribution. Waiting has not served us well. And as a poignant reminder to Africans, okay, African migrants, as I'm here in your country, some of you Nigerians, I'm here in your country. I've taken the initiative to come and join my brother and begin to explore this, this part of Africa. All I can tell you is the more that we turn our backs on the motherland, the more that we expel ourselves into the international community, the more that we neglect to address the problems that are facing us in the motherland, the longer the problem will exist. Because the problem is not going to alleviate itself. Waiting has not served us well as a people. I can't speak for you guys but I am tired of not having what is due to me. I'm tired of not having a comfortable life. I'm tired of not having safety. I'm tired of racism. I'm tired of not escalating. And therefore, I have to, with my own life, seek a solution. Wherever that solution is taking me. The solution has, helped, has told me to leave the West and go back to the root and find out where it all started. And insert myself into a problem and become a solution. That is what my wisdom has communicated to me. I can't tell anybody else what to do. If you rather spend all of your weekends, your free time up in a church house praying on the same pew with the same people, hoping that magic is going to happen in your life, some kind of savior is going to come in, that your problems are going to wash themselves away and all this type of nonsense then go for it. I can never tell you what to do. Many of us are utilizing various forms of inspiration, religion, motivational speakers, you know, um, spirituality, all kind of means to motivate ourselves for greatness. Do what you need to do. Use what you need to use. You know, I don't think we particularly have to align on all the semantics, but we do have to align on the fact that implementation is going to be our savior. Implementation is going to be what helps us go forward. Because waiting 
has not served us well. So, um, my, my, my people are here now. I hear them knocking. Is it time to go? It's Father Jiki. So, we're heading to the festival now. And um, 